Sir Charles Martin Prosperity Park Properties. We're back at 2700 Fairlawn Street. We have a lot going on. As you can see, the roof is going on, the windows are in, the plumbers are inside doing their plumbing work. We have a landscaper here cleaning out the side of the property so that we can get our full perimeter privacy fence in. I want you to have a look and see what's going on. So I'm with my uh, super roofer, Carlos Marion. Carlos, um, first of all, how long you been a roofer? Uh, I've been a roofer maybe the last 20, 22 years. Now. Wow. 22 years. Wow. Yep. Okay, now what kind of shingle are we putting on this house? Well, we're actually putting a landmark, a certain T landmark shingles, a 30 year shingle. Um, shingles, the warranty will last 30 years. Um, these shingles are actually shingles, man. They, they wind resistant. Uh, they can handle up to a 50, 60 mile an hour wind resistance. Um, the thickness of them good. Um, also, you can look right here where the tabs at, where the nails actually go at. Right. And they got, they, they see how thick they is right here? So right. They, that'll actually keep it from when the wind actually try to get underneath the shingles from blowing up. It's, it's a real excellent shingle. All right. You know, ABC, ABC Supply, they recommend them. Um, this, this is about the best shingle on the market. So let me ask you a question. So if, if someone is watching mm -hmm. and they're not looking to sell me their house and they're looking, not looking to buy a house, but they need a new roof, mm -hmm. how can they get a hold of you? Well, you can contact me at 202-491-8046. Again, that's 202-491-8046. It's Conwell Roofing and Management Services. Uh, we handle any any type of roof system. Uh, now they're doing energy saving, so we're doing a lot of TPO roofs, EPDM, uh, shingles, modified. Uh, we, we handle any kind of roofing system there is in the business right now, even all the way down to metal roof. So you, you got a lot of flat roofs in D.C.? Yeah, a lot, man. We, I mean, we swamp right now. It's actually... Um, I mean, we we crunching just to get you in. <laughs> so, I mean, which is a good thing, and it also can be a bad thing, too, because we like to be there for the customers. Right. And when we give them our word, we like to, to, to actually be there. Right, right. You know? So, again, how can folks reach you again? You can reach me at 202-491-8046. Again, that's 202-491-8046. Conwell Roof and Management Service. All right, thanks, man. I'll let you back to work. Okay, All thanks. right, thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So we just finished the conversation with the roofer, quick conversation with the roofer. And as you can see, our landscaper is out clearing the perimeter line on the left side of the property. And then we take them uh, maybe a day or so to get this clear. But we're putting a privacy fence all around the perimeter of the property. So let's just walk around the yard and have a look before we go inside. So you can see we have this beautiful, very beautiful Japanese maple. Now, if I had to buy this tree brand new, this tree brand new would probably cost me um, about $5,000. Now, when I say brand new, I mean fully matured. This is a fully mature Japanese maple, very beautiful tree. I want to show you how much energy goes into a top to bottom renovation. Now we're outside, of course, but just look at how hard the workers are working, clearing up the brush so that we can get our perimeter fence in. I mean, he's in there, he's going, he's working very, very hard to get that cleaned out. Okay, as I mentioned before, we're putting a six feet privacy fence all around the property. And you see our team has already started putting in the, the post for the fence panels. Okay, I'm, I'm with my good renovations assistant, Ron Cook. And uh, as you can see, he's very well dressed today. <laughs> okay, Ron, what's the distance between the panels? Yeah, or the posts, excuse me. Between the posts, we got eight feet between the posts. All right, let's posts. put a tape to it. Let's see if that's right. Ah, we're at seven right here. Why is that, Ron? When they get all the way down, they, are, they might not be the equal distance eight feet. You start at eight feet between each post, but to make it down to the corner, we make the turn, you might have to make a change just so they look like they're all eight all feet. All right, well, let's go down and see. Mm -hmm. And we're not gonna do any hocus pocus. This is gonna be a, um, a live test to see if our math is right. Okay, so we're gonna do a live test, no hocus pocus. Let's see how good our math is. It should be uh, eight feet on center, right, Ron? Right, eight feet on center. Boom. Right on the mark. Put on Boom. Okay, let's go inside and see what the plumbers are doing. Okay, so we're, we're back inside 2700 Fairlawn and the very well dressed Ron <laughs> Cook is going to tell us what's happening downstairs. Okay, we're going to go downstairs where they're digging up, looking for the main drain to the house. Again, we were in one of the previous episodes here in the guts of the house. There was really a lot of important things going on down here. The plumbers 
uh, digging up to, to uh, locate the main drain for the house, which goes from the house out to the sewer and the street to the, to the county sewer. And as you can see over here, they uh, jackhammered the concrete floor and under the concrete floor, they've dug up the, the dirt and gravel and looking for the main pipe. And you may or may not be able to see it, but there are two, some big pipes down in the floor here that's a main drain that goes, eventually goes out to the front, from the front of the house to the sewer in the middle of the street there. But there's the main drains here, which will all the drains in the house will eventually be connected to them through uh, draining stacks in the house. All right, so the main drains and the drain stack that we're talking about in the house is where all the drains from all your water fixtures in the house, from the dishwasher to the sinks to the toilets to the showers to the tubs, all the water that drains out of the house goes into the main drain. And we call them a stack because it essentially goes from the bottom of the house, below the concrete in the basement, all the way up to each fixture and through the roof. And what that drain stack does is it not only drains the water out of the house, but there's an opening on the roof that allows what we call a vent. And the vent actually allows air pressure to come down through that pipe and help the gravity flow of the water through the drain out into the, the sewer. So a house might have one main drain, but it might have some other stacks that flow into it. And again, all of that is below the concrete in the basement. Those are your drain stacks. Isn't this guy smart? <laughs> <laughs>